Good afternoon and thank you for coming. We're still deal dealing with a very dangerous situation here in Bay County. We're going to start our briefing off with the For Florida Fire Service, Forestry Service. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I just wanted to give you guys a situational update right now. We'll start on the southern end with the Adkins Avenue fire. That fire is currently 1,400 acres, 1,400 acres, and 30% contained. Uh, we still have a 10, 12 plus tractors on it, tons of structural resources and multiple helicopters. <clears throat> um, the real big change for today is the Bertha Swamp Road fire. It originated in Gulf County, just north of Highway 22 over there, pushed to the north yesterday. <clears throat> today it reached into Calhoun County, and then with the southeasterly winds, it has pushed into Bay County and is forcing evacuations in the Bear Creek area. That fire remains about two to three miles away from that area, so it is not directly impacting it at this time. We have structure protection resources in place up there. We're moving more as we speak. Again, helicopters are on that. We're bringing in more resources as well. I can tell you from the Florida Forest Service's standpoint, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have bulldozers and brush trucks in from throughout the state. We're bringing in National Guard helicopters to help with the firefight. We're bringing absolutely everything we can get our hands on to stop this pair of fires. I'm gonna turn it over to uh, the Chipola Forestry Center manager, Mike Mathis. He's gonna talk a little bit about night operations and what residents can expect uh, tonight and in the coming days. Thank you. Uh, crews are making great progress uh, today, even though um, we had a lot of buildup and a lot of fire acres today. Um, as we go into the night, um, operations are slow because of the heavy blown down timber, making visibility with the smoke issues and down timber um, dangerous for firefighters. They will continue to work until around 10 o'clock until the night shift uh, comes in and um, the night shift is basically going to um, secure things up, make sure nothing gets out. but. Um, it makes it a whole lot dangerous and firefighting during the day is the, the more preferred method. Um, as far as that, we're making slow progress just because of the, the hurricane damage and we are calling for more resources to be here in the morning. Thank you. And we'll give you a quick update on the uh, our structural protection uh, fire units in the uh, county. We're working very closely with the Division of Forestry uh, to, um, to make stops and protect areas where we have homes. I want to assure you we are doing everything we possibly can to protect your home. We need your help. We need you to heed the evacuation recommendations and orders, not return to your home at this point. We still have a very dangerous situation. Shelter for our evacuees has been set up at the Bay County Fairgrounds at 2230 East 15th Street. That's 2230 15th, East 15th Street. That's our fairgrounds. This shelter is pet friendly and can accommodate large animals. Please call ahead though if you're bringing animals. The Citizens Information Center phone number is 850 248-6090-850-248-6090 to make arrangements for any large animals. Uh, the Dauphin Ag Center has also offered uh, up some of their um, center for large animals too if needed. The latest evacuations we have is for the back Bear Creek area. We have a large fire moving in that direction. Uh, the sheriff and I flew the area this afternoon. This is a big, big fire. We're talking 8,000 acres at this time and moving toward the Bear Creek area. Forestry is going to make every effort this, tonight to uh, try to stop the fire's uh, onward presentation. We, we need you to, to cooperate with us and stay out of harm's way. Uh, the evacuation helps us in so many ways. It makes the, our job a lot easier so we're not doing rescues while we're trying to fight fires. It allows our huge trucks and apparatus, bulldozers and that sort of stuff 
to flow freely through our, our highways and roads. We have lots of large equipment coming to us in the next few days, um, much of it arriving here tonight. We have two task force and strike teams that are heading from the Jacksonville area who should arrive here around 9 o'clock tonight. We have assets that are just arriving from the west uh, to help backfill uh, and give our relief to our, our people that are now on the scene. We currently have 19 engines dedicated to this fire. That's fire trucks, pumpers, six tankers, and over six to eight brush trucks that are in service right now in defense of homes. And that's kind of a wrap up for what we have uh, in the field. Uh, I'm going to I'll turn it over to Sheriff uh, Ford, who's helped us and done a tremendous job with our evacuation. Thank you, Chief. This remains a very serious and dangerous and quickly changing situation. Uh, we've got a lot of resources here, both law enforcement and, and fire, to work closely with our partners at Bay County Emergency Services and fire, as well as Florida Fire Service, and all of the mutual aid resources for fire and law, law enforcement that's come into town. I wanted to update you a little bit on the evacuated areas. Uh, these areas are going to remain evacuated. You know, we did have some, uh, some progress today on the Atkins Road fire. We were very pleased to see that, you know, we didn't have the, the level of flare-ups with the winds and the, and the humidity that we that we were concerned about, but it still remains a dangerous situation that we're watching closely and have a lot of resources at. So the areas that are, have been evacuated and will remain so are the Billsmo Estates area, Cedar Park, College Station, Pipeline Road to the dead end, the Springfield area east of Transmitter, and the newly evacuated areas that deputies are currently in the progress process of evacuating at the current moment is the is the Bear Creek area, and that's basically going to be uh, south from Scotts Ferry Road on the east side of 231, including the South Bear Creek, North Bear Creek, Veal Road, and the Edley Road area. Deputies are currently up there uh, making notifications right now. We would like to urge individuals to leave. Uh, the fire that's uh, proceeding from Gulf and Calhoun County into, into our county, as the chief said, is a very large and dangerous fire. There's really not a lot in between the fire and that Bear Creek area to, to stop the fire. Forestry is going to be doing some work overnight uh, tonight, a, a valiant effort on that. But we ask people to, to evacuate that area and remain, remain so. Again, the, the Bay County Fairgrounds has been open as a shelter. Um, if you're near evacuated areas, this is a, a very quickly changing situation. If you're near these areas, please stay informed and understand that the uh, situation can change uh, quickly for you and your area. Be prepared to leave quickly if law enforcement comes to your home to notify you of evacuation in your neighborhood. We'll continue to work closely with emergency management and, and fire um, and to keep the public informed. Thank you. Just want to remind everyone that uh, we are under a burn ban. Please, please, please don't think that you can go in your backyard and burn just a small pile uh, because we could end up with another fire like this. All of our resources, they are tremendously stretched. We do not have the people to send resources out to go to other fires. Uh, we've got people all around the panhandle that are with us. They're coming all the way from Okaloosa County and as far east as Jacksonville, sending resources to us. Uh, continue to send prayers to the men and women that are out there fighting for us. Uh, your safety is our number one priority. We want to make sure that you are safe. If you're asked to evacuate, please evacuate. We have sheltering set up. We've got food for you. We have drink. We have food. Please take shelter uh, and heed the advice because uh, we do want to make sure that everyone is safe. So uh, please, just can't stress enough, do not burn anything outside. Uh, stay tuned to the media. Uh, we've got radio. We've got television. You've got alertbay.org. There's multiple places that you can keep up to date on what's going on with this, with this fire. And uh, we just encourage every one of you to be safe. Thank you. In closing, I just wanted to repeat that address of the shelter one more time. It's 2230 East 15th Street, Fairgrounds, Bay County Fairgrounds. And the Citizens Information Center phone number is 850-248-6090. I want to take a moment to uh, uh, thank our neighbors, Scambia County, Walton, Okaloosa, um, numerous smaller counties around us who have sent apparatus and people. We have Jackson County, Washington County, um, even uh, some folks um, 
from uh, the, the North have offered even more help for us. So we're, we're very grateful for all the help. Uh, I'm thankful that the, the uh, governor visited us, to, visited us, us today. Uh, CFO Patronus has been with us and so has the congressional delegation. And I want to thank our county commissioners and county manager for their support. We've had a tremendous amount of folks who have, have come by and brought food and stuff like that to our people. Um, it's just been overwhelming. And we appreciate especially the folks at Highland Park Baptist Church who let us put up our initial command post there. I can take any questions if you have. Any injuries reported yet? We have, uh, thankfully, we have no reported injuries, no reported fatalities. Um, I regret that we lost two homes. Um, this was a very serious fire that affected us, and uh, it's just a miracle that our units were able to make a stop. Uh, one of the, uh, 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 the, the sheriff was out there at the time and witnessed it, and uh, one of the battalion chiefs uh, that was on scene reported to us that there were flames 50 feet in the air. And it was, it, it was a tremendous fire that rolled through this neighborhood. And we, we lost two homes, and I regret that. We feel bad for those families. But I think we were able to save uh, a good many homes also in that area. So uh, we hope to continue our efforts to keep minimize the damage to homes and property. But I have to emphasize again, this is a very dangerous situation. We have multiple fires. One of them, the biggest one, is around 8,000 acres, as estimated by forestry. So. I know this question was asked yesterday, but I'm going to ask again. Is this one of the biggest wildfires to affect Bay County? I think in my tenure it is. We've had some large uh, fires in the 90s before I was here in the early 2000s. I worked several fires that are very close to the, this size, but they did not affect residential areas. These, these fires are affecting our residential areas, uh, even though they start in a, in, a, in, a, in a very wooded area. Due to all the um, trees and fuel that's on the ground, when the wind blows and we have low humidity, it is a perfect scenario for a very devastating fire. Is that all you have? Thank you very much. We appreciate it.